Hello Pisces, my name is Gabrielle De La Garza, aka the New York Doctorist, and welcome to your love appointment. I'm the love doctor today, and let's see what the hell is going on. Okay, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and let's get into it. So, I right away heard Restless, um, and then the Five of Swords came out, so I feel like, and then I was seeing like, so maybe you're trying to cover something up, or you're looking for a cover up, or you are the cover up, like, maybe someone's calling you and you're like, oh no, like, I wasn't there, or I was with such and such, like, I feel like, yeah, Ten of Coins, like, I feel like someone's banking on something with you, or banking on you saying something to make sure that they don't get caught, or maybe you're trying to do this, or, or something along these lines, or this is happening around you, Pisces, um, ooh, Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups, so... And there's the five of swords again right underneath it. So I feel like if you're a female, I I'll be honest, like I feel like you're being a little sneaky. Um, this I just I just called this out. I just said that this card came out. Like, I, I mean, this is so and that's you right there. Queen of Cups, Pisces. Like, so you're not hiding from someone. You're definitely in contact with this person. You're definitely hanging out with them. Um, Knight of Cups. So if you're a male, you're here too. This could be another water sign, another Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Um, I'm getting a lot of feelings here, a lot of emotion, a lot of chemistry, a lot of actually, I'll be honest, like it, it feels very, um, I mean the word magical, yes, but that's like not really what I'm trying to say. So I, I feel like too, like you're pretty comfortable with this person. Um, but I'm here like maybe it's been like three to six months. Uh... I don't know. There's still something about them you don't know, or this is you. You're still hiding something, Ace of Wands. This could just be like a sexual thing. Maybe you've just been having sex with this person over time. This could maybe be three to six years. Um, but yeah, I, I am get see, it's weird because Pisces, there's a combat, a compatibility. I just, I was going to say compatibility. So maybe it goes from compatible to combatible. Like maybe you guys are combative. You start fighting. Um, there's the Ace of Cups. It's very emotional. Um, but I do see justice here. This, this could, and the chariot. So I don't get that you live together. It's just like, there's a very strong, what it is, it's like a very strong energetic bond. It's like, I feel like you're, I, I literally, I'm getting this, I'm this is so nasty, but like, it's like your waters like flow together. Like, I feel like you guys are like, just energetically also flow together too. There's something that's very strong about the connection, but it's not, uh, it's like just not quite it or something and I feel like it's really hard because it's like you know this so it's like you maybe you leave this person's house or they leave your house and it's like okay you you know that at some point this is gonna end but I feel like in your mind maybe you don't think it's gonna end but you know it is yes yeah, six of swords like like I feel like someone is trying to pull away this could be you Pisces like maybe you're trying to pull away or trying to get away from this person to get to calmer water safer waters but there's a lot of fucking water here okay maybe you're gonna like going on vacation to the wood and the king of cups is this you, Pisces? Like, I mean, there's literally, I, I've seen nothing. Like, this is a very, I want to be like, this is a very emotional time. But I don't feel like I'm crying. So it's like, I don't know. I, I, I can't really explain it. Hopefully this makes more sense to you. Um, I just saw 333. Three, three, so definitely look out for those numbers. Definitely. Or three, something about maybe the third, the third house. So maybe something about your third house in your astrology chart. I would look that up too, if you're into astrology or even if you're not death, but something's, I feel like it's a very emotional ending, but something is ending. I feel like you're trying, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be so straightforward. I feel like maybe you're trying to avoid ending something, or maybe it's just so emotional. Like you're really just like having a hard time getting through it. Um, it's very heavy, but it's not like again. I, oh, maybe you just cried so many tears, like you're like I like maybe you literally like I mean like literally physically cannot cry anymore. Like I, I'm like not even being over exaggerating. Like I feel like you've cried so much over somebody or or something or like been through such an emotional breakdown or breakthrough in like maybe the last year or so or like whatever the case might be that it's just like now it's over it's done like maybe this is really your like if you needed a sign a signal whatever like end something I feel like now now is the time like now now is the time to just end it and go like there is a sure fucking ending here to something like and it's very emotional it's very combative it's very tough I feel like my demeanor doesn't depict how 
what's going on so in your life Pisces right so I feel like too like your demeanor is very calm it's very collected because again I still have this emotional bond with this person right Pisces like you're still so connected with them this is like a very hard um, this this might take you like a year to actually get over like maybe you're like when is this gonna end I'm, I'm getting like 365 days baby mark the calendar like this is the Emperor yeah because I feel like right now in your mind this person is so important like you've been with them for so long I feel like you're so addicted to them like it's it's very hard for you to like actually let this go um but it it's could be with an air sign too i'm getting libra aquarius gemini especially with the star here maybe this is somebody who like you like just again pisces just really admire as a person like I, I i don't get ill will but like five of cups like it just feels like you're missing something um yeah it's like you're looking for so oh my god where was that oh my god i just saw it's like he was looking for something but then it's like you forget or like i don't know because I don't know. It feels emotionally manipulative. I'm being a lot honest right here. Death again with the emotions. It, it, it's. I feel like it's just. It's just. It's just enough of it. It's just enough or something. <laughs> like. <laughs> just want to. I just want to like shake my head or something. Yeah. You could not be really talking as much as this person with the eight of swords. I do feel like you're in contact with them though. I feel like maybe you're just not saying the things you want to say, or you're trying really hard not to fight with them, or like I almost feel like you're trying not to put them in a bad mood because you don't want them to like take certain things out on you too. Because I feel like maybe this person's going through a hard time. Like I said, this is just. I just want to be like it's an. It's literally like an emotional roller coaster. Um, but I almost feel like you're out of it somehow, or maybe you're on the outside. Um, maybe this, yeah, but you're still so confused as to what the hell's going on. I feel like you're still paying attention to this person. If you're not really talking to them, I feel like you're definitely still watching them. King of Swords. Yeah, like I said, this could definitely be an air sign. Um, I definitely see somebody else here, but they're not like really here. It's the Empress, but she's behind like I only know it's her because I can see a little bit and the moon cards here too so if you're dealing with somebody I feel like there's definitely somebody else but I don't feel like it's someone you have to I'm hearing it's someone you don't have to worry about or it's someone who's not really involved do you hear that let the birds sing it loud and clear baby yeah because I feel like too this king of swords like if you're dealing with this person especially if it's an air sign I feel like they're confused right now about their feelings or they're confused about what's going on too because they or this is you yeah because I and there's a queen of coins because I feel like somebody's watching somebody else or this is you I feel like you're watching somebody else um Yeah, because someone's not sure if they should walk away or not. I, or, or I feel like maybe someone's tr confused about their options. I'm, I'm hearing that too. Again, this could be you. Yeah, but someone's waiting. Someone's not making a move just quite yet. I feel like they're real. Like they're writing down like, okay, what is it that I want? Or, or what are, what in life? I feel like this is what you need to do, Pisces. I feel like you want to be like exact. I said this to Leo a while back too. Like you want to say, all right let's even if you're with somebody like what are the qualities that you really want in someone you want to make sure you have those qualities of course as well because you want you know because you're going to receive that if you're mirroring it right you're going to be with the person you mirror so whatever qualities you have within yourself will reflect in your partner no matter what so if you're with someone those are the qualities right write down what the hell you want in a partner i mean to a t and see if that's your person Number one, if it's not your person, then maybe you have to work on yourself to be that person. And then it'll literally be attracted to you. And then make sure, too, if those aren't the qualities that are within that person that you're with right now, that you don't just stay with them because it's convenient or out of convenience, too. Because I feel like also there's like a comfortability thing. I'm hearing compatibility, comfortability, and there was another word, but I can't remember what it is. But I just feel like there's a lot going on. Um... But I'm getting, take a shower. Like, I feel like I want you to shower and, like, almost just, like, wash away all these fucking thoughts of anybody and everybody who's been bothering you. And just kind of, like, I don't know. I want to say, like, regroup or restart. Like, like, I, I, I yeah, strength. Like, I, I don't, like, don't, take, take a little, take, take. 
take some time off. I just told Scorpio this too. I feel like they needed to take like, yeah, like maybe take some like 10 days off from talking to someone or don't really text someone as much or, you know, like maybe take a couple weekends off where you're just not seeing them, not really texting them, no drunk texting. Yeah, there's those emotions again. I know it's hard, Pisces. I, oh, and the 10 of ones and the moon, but there's a lot of things you don't know. And there's a lot of things that I don't think you, I'm hearing you don't even want to know. Or again, this is you that like, there's just a lot of things you don't want to tell someone. You can't tell someone you don't want to tell somebody. Um, and with the 10 of wands, it, it's, it's been a fucking rough ride, but you know what? There's, there's a chance to get off. I'm, I'm hearing get off while you can get off the motherfucking train while you can. <laughs> and there you are to fucking start and end your reading Pisces. You are so strong in this. It's so crazy because this whole time I feel like you're stable. I feel like you are in control of your emotions. Like I felt so calm talking to you and I felt like this is exactly what the type of energy you're going to get in return. So if you're like are single and you haven't been dealing with this, I feel like you're going to attract someone who's just like you, who's just perfect, who's just um who is compatible compatible with you right that was the other one i feel like you're gonna get that compatible person but I, as long as you stay within yourself within your emotions like and just don't let anybody else like come in and taint that order you know what i'm saying because at first we started with the knight of cups but now you're here by yourself and i feel like you look so much better you look so much better strength yeah you just have to be strong through this ten of wands right now but you're gonna get through this you're definitely gonna get through this with the strength part how fucking yeah baby here i'm sending you good vibes all right, I love the sun. Yeah, you're going to be so happy, Pisces. All right, I love you so much. I'll see you on the next one. There's the devil card. It's so funny. And the emperor. Wow. I want to keep going on with you. Oh, my God. No, you need to cut it off, Pisces. We're done. I love you. Goodbye.